In this video, I'm going to show you from dragging the logs off the mountain, to putting them on the sawmill, cutting them into the lumber, to screwing the boards down on the building. Right here, these are white pine logs that we drug off the mountain. We have videos on that, but there was a couple of nice white pine that snapped off and blew over. And these are the logs that we were able to salvage out of those trees and bring down to the mill. You can barely see the tractor down there. It's a, a, the red and if you look real close, but that's how far that uh, we winched this, these logs down off the side hill tractor sitting down there on the road and we snake that rope up through the side hill and grab a hold of these logs and that uh, Northwood Norwood hydraulic winch is able to pull them right down through there without too much problem at all now you can see that same log one of those same logs on the woodland mills sawmill and now i'm gonna cut it down into one inch boards to use for sheeting for the roof of the new log cabin style workshop that i'm building uh, that sheeting will also be exposed into the building so it's actually the ceiling that you're gonna see the white pine boards for the ceiling. So this is me cutting these boards up on the sawmill. Take these slabs off first off the log and then set them aside and then you'll see here later where I'll cut the live edge off of them and get boards out of them too. This log, I got some nice 12 inch wide boards out of this log which you'll see on the ceiling really came out really nice. I just put a new drive belt on the mill at, at this point um, and it was slipping. I didn't know it was slipping and the mill wasn't cutting real good, but I found out that that new drive belt that had to adjust the tension on it, it stretched a little bit. So that's why it was slipping. That's why it, I was struggling getting through the log. I'm gonna take 
Now we're putting the slabs back on the mill and cutting the live edges off of them, getting as wide a board as we can, can get out of those uh, slabs that we initially took off of the log. You see, we just keep a, I guess that looks like about a three, three inch thick cant on there so that we can dog the these slabs tight against it and then and then cut off the edges of them Now we'll finish cutting the rest of that can into one buys. And then from there we'll move on to the building and show the boards actually being put onto the building. So this is a look at what the one side looked like after it was on from underneath. And that's the white pine that was just cut on the mill up there. Uh, all different widths from uh, 12 inches. I think there's a six, couple 16 inches up there. There's some 8 inches, 10 inches. And then this is uh, putting that side on. So, so that pile of lumber you see down there at the bottom to your left. What I did was I cut that white pine, stacked it to dry a little bit while I was cutting the rest of this building. Then I brought it all up here to the building and sized it up in piles according to the width of the board. We can and if you watch the other video where I explained this, I took each one of those boards and used a, a sander and sanded one side of them, the side that's going to be shown down for the ceiling, just to shine it up a little bit and get the knots shined up so that when I put a finish on them, that will, they'll really show through. And now I'm putting them on. I put them on with screws. Everything I do with this building, I use screws because the lumber's rough lumber. Some of it probably still classifies green. Most of it probably still classifies green. So I use screws and timber locks to fasten everything to keep things from pulling when, when it shrinks, when it dries out a little bit. Every now and again, you can see me using a chisel to pry with, and that's, I use that to try to pull the joints as close 
as tight as I can before I drive a screw down through there. What you wear or eat, just stop and smell the roses. Nothing here is guaranteed, but the love surrounding you and me will hold us together. There's a lot up and down the ladder for this job when you're trying to do it by yourself, but um, one of the goals I had when I started to build this building was to see if I could do the complete job by myself. Um, I just something I wanted to try to do. So you go up and down the ladder, you know, by the end of the day, it's time for bed you're ready for bed but uh so far it's worked out fine and uh we'll just keep going as long as we now at 67 years old you just feel good that you're still have the health to be able to do something like this and i thank the lord that that's that is the case and i hope that i can keep doing things like this for a good many years yet i know my dad he was still working hard in his 80s, 81 he died. So hopefully I have some of his genes. I, I have some of his ambition. If I can keep up to him, I don't know. So there was a pretty good look from um, the logs on the mountain, the trees on the mountain, drug down, put in the sawmill, cut up, and now put on the building. Can't get any better than that, being able to 
cut your own lumber, build the building out of something you brought off the mountain.